What's going on everyone? This is Mark Doss, and today I'm going to show you how to install Proton GE on your Steam Deck so you can have more compatibility with your games. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop mode. And there's two ways to do that. You can either hold the power button like so, and it'll bring up the menu, or you can hit the Steam button and then go down to power. And then you can switch to desktop. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to switch over. All right, and once you're on your desktop, you're going to give it a second for everything to load. And then you're going to go on the bottom left to the Discover Store. And we're going to click on that and open that up. All right, now we're going to go up to the top left, and we're going to go to Search, and you're going to hit the Steam button and press X to open up your virtual keyboard. And then we're going to type in Proton. And then you'll hit Enter. And then hopefully you can hit the Steam button and hit X, and it'll close the keyboard, and it'll stay closed. I've been having an issue with this that it won't stay closed. So let's see if it finally... Nope. Alright, here we go. Alright, so now that you search Proton, you're going to go right here to Proton Up, QT. You're going to click on that and you're going to hit Install. Mine says Remove because I already have it installed. But once it is installed, you're going to go to Launch. All right, and here it's going to show all the versions I have right now. And then we're going to go right down here. We're going to hit Add Version. And then we're going to click on the version right here. And we're going to go to 25, which is the newest one. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to click Install. All right, now you can see here that 25 is added to the list. Now this is where you're going to want to come here frequently to update to new versions, because the newer versions might work with a game that the old version didn't make the game run. So definitely check back here frequently. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this. We're going to open Steam. You're going to go to your library. You can go to something that's installed, so we'll just click on something random. And then if you go to the settings, go to properties, the compatibility, force the use, and then you click down here, and now you'll see, let's see. Okay, so it's not here now, let's close Steam. And then we're gonna reopen it to refresh it. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back and check again. Property. All right, now you'll see that 25 did show up. So if Steam is open, you're definitely going to have to refresh it. But I'm sure if you switch back to, to the gaming mode, it will automatically refresh. And that's pretty much it, guys. Sometimes GE works a lot better than an Experimental or 7. So if you can't get a game working, definitely try uh, GE. I hope this video was uh, helpful to anyone, and thanks.